You know, as much as I like to present myself as some sort of hardcore Smash fan on YouTube, in reality, things are a bit different and I'm a lot more negative about the game, actually. So much so that I'm sometimes seen as a bitter old man in my local scene. So I think it's about time that I truly embraced that hater energy. Which leads on to what I want to present to you all today, which is the Smash Ultimate Character Matrix. Essentially ranking how exciting a character is to watch versus how lame they typically are to fight against. Like, yeah, sure, Lucina may not have the most BS in the world, but that doesn't mean she isn't as interesting to watch as a wet carrot. And okay, I'll give it up that sometimes Joker can look cool and stylish, but lord knows I don't feel that way when I've just died to Arsene back air for the fifth time in a row. Point is, Smash is a silly game, both in a good and a bad way, and I'm here today to rip the roster to shreds. There's going to be some real hater energy today, so... You've been warned. Starting with quite the unspectacular one, I guess we have Banjo. I feel like in terms of entertainment value, Banjo doesn't really offer much, except for those specific combos with Regal Blaster and that bomb that comes out of his ass, but here's the thing about situations like that. 99% of the time you see Banjo, he's just going to be camping, and the 1% is actually going to be a cool combo, so... You weigh that up by yourself. Like, he is cringe, but let's be honest, compared to other DLC especially, he's not actually that bad. So, we'll go a 4 and a 3 and I can always just move him later. I feel like a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on Bayonetta. She is actually a very tricky one for me to rate, but I still haven't gotten over that grudge I have on her since Smash 4. And to be honest, I really fucking hate playing her still, I just don't know why. Obviously, just like with Banjo, you're gonna have much more cringe characters, but here's another thing that's quite tricky, because usually when I watch Bayonetta, like, I, I might as well just be watching paint dry. I really don't care. But, like, some players specifically, like Bloom? I'm kind of rooting for Bayo. I mean, I guess it's because usually I see him against worse characters like Samus or Luigi. Kind of weird one. Very much player-based. Bowser's another strange one, because compared to the other heavies, I don't think he's actually that exciting. Have you ever seen a, a, a Bowser clip? Has anyone ever seen a Bowser do something cool before? Neutral's kind of just very simple, he's a very easy character to play. Like I said before, there are much better heavies out there, but in terms of hype, yeah, lower than five, I'd say about four. Bowser Jr., I like wacky characters, so... I'm rating Bowser Jr. quite high for that because I think he's got a cool toolkit. He honestly has to play the game unlike most of the fucking characters here. In terms of cringe, like, I can't really think of that much other than forward smash, jab. Obviously he can link a billion up airs, which is kind of annoying, but other than that, I think he's fine. I'd actually put him here. Byleth is another unique case where I actually don't like fighting him. I like watching him and I like playing him myself but that Nair can fuck off, to be honest. I feel like MKLeo is the reason why I actually like watching Byleth, because let's be honest, Fire Emblem really doesn't do it for me. But I'd say out of all those characters, he's actually one of the more exciting ones. And in terms of cringe, I kind of feel like he goes straight in the middle, maybe slightly above. Like, I know he's got Nair, but everything else is okay. Compared to other DLCs, at least, he's a... Uh, Definitely in the green zone. Uh, Falcon. He's the people's man, you know? You're always rooting for the Falcon because he has to play the game. He's getting in there, he's scrapping. He does have one or two bullshit things. I don't like up smash personally. That shit can fuck off how big it is. He's almost a 10 out of 10. Every game you watch of Falcon is going to be exciting, you know? He's just that explosive character which he's designed to be. Crom, right down in boring. He's kind of just as honest as it gets, but his recovery is kind of just ass as compromise for his very good moves. Cloud, on the other hand, is not a sorty who I kind of put in the same category as like Crom, Lucina, those ones that I see as honest. Uh, Cloud can fuck off. Up be out of shield. Back air, which is a fucking war crime. A lot of his actual aerials, his sword is just fucking ridiculous. He feels like the DLC character of Krom, but he's not, so there's really no excuse in this shit. In terms of cringe, I'd say on par with Banjo, actually, like, a blow five. I really do not respect Cloud at all. I'm sorry, I, I don't like Swordies, okay? He's a little more interesting than Krom, but I, I, I mean, I, I don't really care when, when one's on screen, okay? Up next, we have... 
Diddy is a strange one, like, my man's playing with items, he's complete bullshit, but other than that, he can't camp you too much, he can't, you know, keep you in disadvantage forever, he's some decent combos, they can be hype. I enjoy watching Tweak every now and again. Yeah, I'd say about a 6 on hype and a 5 when it comes to how based he is, he he's very much in the middle for me. DK and most heavies actually are a, a fucking treat to watch, they're fucking hilarious. He's actually a character that I don't mind fighting, I'd say in terms of all the characters, him and Falcon are the ones that I least mind seeing on the screen when I'm playing the game. I mean, don't get me wrong, he has his gimmicks, much like most mid-tiers do, but they don't frustrate me. I think he's fine, you know, he, he's playing the game as much as anyone else, so yeah, DK. Is a good boy. Dr. Mario is is not gonna lie, I don't think I've seen any tournaments with a Dr. Mario in it, but I don't think Dr. Mario is as interesting as the other low tiers who are gonna be getting some sort of cool comeback or something like that. Let's put him as an 8 on base, but I guess in the middle when it comes to actual hype. Duck Hunt is, is one of those fucking trap characters which I really just do not care for. He's one of those like Pac-Man or Steve where he can have a really exciting combo or trap set but most of the time his time's gonna be spent setting up that trap and I really don't care to watch someone run away for the 1% chance that they're gonna do something cool. This is like Banjo territory but I guess I'd give him an extra point just because you know he, he, he can actually do some cool things sometimes. Falco it is like another example where watching him is fine, but I don't want to fight against him because, man, skip the cutscene please, I don't want to be in that shit. Let's move Byleth up a bit and put him like slightly behind. Yeah, I'd say about Diddy, Kong level, but you know, he doesn't have banana so he's already more hype and he's already more based. Fox I feel like is more exciting, he's very much the sort of character I like where he's very aggro, much like that of, of Roy or Falcon, you know, these sort of characters that get in your face and start actually doing cool shit with their buttons. But when it comes to actually watching him, not gonna lie, I don't really care. Ganondorf is a great example of a character who I love to use, he's very fun, he's bad but he's fun, and watching him is great. I don't think he's as hype as Falcon, but you know, he's definitely still up there. In terms of like based or cringe, yeah, I could see him being about here. Greninja, I mean like, he's as 5-5 five, five as you can get really. He's the definition of 5, which is what I would say, but I, <laughs> I gotta remember how many of these characters I fucking hate, so already is going up in based. Um, I think he's like around, I'm gonna say like here. Hero is a character who I've been using quite a lot lately, and even before then, I always thought he was a funny guy. Hypeness already quite high, just because, you know, anything can happen with Hero, especially when you've got the Ditto. He's a very fun character to watch. Do I like fighting against him? Not really, just because of that element of surprise, you know, and you, he, he does have some very annoying moves. Kaboom, which for some reason is extremely common and covers a wide range and kills you at like 50. And side B, the middle variation of that can fuck off. I know because I use it all the time. I'm gonna put him down here, like there is some cringe to be had with Hero, but I do like watching him, so that's a nice little guilty pleasure of mine. Ice Climbers, yeah, another one of those where they can have cool clips sometimes, but most of the time when I watch their gameplay, I'm kind of asleep, so let's see, probably around there, yeah. Ike, I mean, can you name a more boring swordsman, honestly? Um, that's getting a straight up zero. It's like Bowser of the Swordsman. Has anyone seen a cool Ike combo? But yeah, I guess he's honest, whatever. I'll put him high and honest. He actually used to be one of my most hated characters in the game just because of how bad Nair was. That shit was annoying, it still is annoying, so he's going down here actually. Incineroar is fun. If you've ever watched Sky J, you know that this character is, you know, explosive, just like that of Falcon. I definitely do mind playing against him much more. He's just scary, you know? And I think his side B is just too overtuned. I don't like that move. Combine that with revenge and, you know, you've got a character that kills you in two or three hits, just like Gandalf, and that can fuck off. Inkling... I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's kind of just right in the middle. I'm not even gonna overthink that one. She's right in the middle. Isabel, yeah, I mean, I know they're bad, but I, I still don't care, you know. <laughs> Playing Isabel is like you don't even want to win, you just want to annoy your opponent, just like Villager. So, we're going down in the cringe. This is going in like Banjo Duck Hunt territory again. I'd say like even worse than Banjo though. Joker, hey, it's that guy I talked about at the start. So like I said before, this guy can be fun to watch, especially if you've seen Leo's Joker, everyone wants that back. But it's also fucking bullshit, like, dude, 
We get it, you're in the air. Stop using get down guns. We get it, you're on the ledge. Stop using side B. Every online Joker plays the same. And I can't stop running into them. We'll pop you right here, Mr. Joker. Jigglypuff, as much as I like to say that I fucking hate her, she's... She's fine, you know, I... I actually don't mind watching Jigglypuff. And because I main Yoshi, I don't mind fighting Jigglypuff either, but when I'm like a character like DK or something, she can actually fuck off. That Nair lingers for far too long, that Pound lingers for far too long, and just when you think that move's over, still is a hitbox. So, don't tell anyone, this is another guilty pleasure of mine. Kazuya Mishima, now that is a funny character. You know when you got certain DLC where just watching them pisses you off? I have that with Kazuya, but also he's fucking hilarious. He's very much just like DLC in Sinra in terms of hype, like he can kill you just from zero. And it's quite funny to watch actually, because ha ha ha, Kazuya Mishima. But lord knows I don't want to be fighting that shit, so he's probably the most cringe character we've had yet. All the characters I must hate are at the bottom, aren't they? Yep, they are, i just seen them. We haven't gotten to S yet. Ken, I, I mean other than... Kazuya, I don't really care for Shota's to be honest, I feel like they're the most boring characters in the game, even though they do actually play the game, I just don't think any of their combos are cool. They're very much in the 3-4 territory for me, like maybe even lower, I really don't care when, I, when I'm watching them. They're going to be more base than the typical Smash character just because, like I said, they're actually playing the game, so I'm going to pop Ken right here. King DDD, I mean I feel like with Lotus you're always going to be rooting for them secretly aren't you? Like let's say DDD is against a Joker or an Aegis or something like that. <sighs> You got a root for the underdog, right? So just by that alone, I guess I'm kind of entertained by DDD's gameplay. And he can get some cool combos sometimes. If you've ever seen a DDD montage, they're actually quite fun. But again, I don't want to be fucking fighting this character, bro. He's annoying. Ah, oh, K. Rool, a classic example of who I like to watch, but definitely don't want to play. It's like DDD on steroids. I like watching K. Rool. K. Rool is actually quite funny. Probably Ganon levels of hype, but he's much more cringe. Kirby I actually quite enjoy. Um, I don't actually get to see Kirby a lot in tournament, but when I do, he's okay, you know. I kind of like him, especially when he takes the opponent's ability and it can kind of shift the whole game plan in a way. And he's not actually that cringe. Think about him compared to the rest of the cast and the only cringe thing about him is when he'll suck and cuck certain characters for bad recoveries, but even then that can be funny if it's not happening to you, so... Yeah, I'm gonna actually put him quite high. Link, yeah, this is another duck hunt situation. Sure, he can have some cool combos, he can do some great things with Bomb, but most of the time he's just gonna be throwing out projectiles and not approaching you. Except when he does, he'll be using that stupid ass Nair. That's one of the most triggering moves in the game. This is like Bayonetta tier, but like, I, I, he's okay. He has some cool things he can do. Oh, Little Max, another weird one. It's very much <laughs> depends on who's playing him. You can have some actually quite campy Little Max, surprisingly, considering he has no projectiles, but it's the optimal way to play him, you know. He's, he, he requires a lot of patience, but again, when you're watching a low tier, it's very much the underdog tier, isn't it? You're kind of rooting for them when you're when you're watching them. But Cringe? I feel like he's more cringe than people give credit for. I'm gonna put him like here. Lucario, yeah, we got another boring character. Um, but yeah, like one. Honestly, one. I can't think of much cringe he has other than his actual aura mechanic, so yeah, we're going here. Lucas, I can never hate Lucas. Like, he has down smash, which is stupid. He has fucking PK freeze, which is stupid. He has other projectiles. I don't like projectiles, you know, but he's actually quite technical. He has some pretty cool combos, which do have some significant use. You see Lucas just go for it quite a lot. Yeah, I don't mind Lucas that much. Lucina, I've already spoken about, like this is going in the same tier as Marth, who is just here. I'll do them both, actually. One of the most boring ass characters, but let's not lie to ourselves. There's not much she can do to cheese a stock or do anything bullshit, you know? This is like the definition of a textbook sortie. And I don't care. Marth's a little more exciting just because there's Tipper, but I, I, I still don't care. Luigi is a character who it kind of hurts you to watch and play against. Those zero to deaths are not interesting at all. I, I like other Luigi combos when he's going for other shit, but the fact that that's the most optimal one is kind of just ugh, you know. Yeah, this is like Banjo's level of I just not interested, maybe a bit more. Turning to the more exciting brother, I would say that I like Mario. Sure, up smash is bullshit and he can kill you off like 
one falling up air or one grab, but I don't actually mind fighting him at all. Probably gonna be on like the incineral sort of level, or maybe a bit higher. Mang Man, I really don't care for. This is a lot of things that I hate in a character. Walling out with loads of projectiles, very slow gameplay. I don't like to fight him, I don't like to watch him, I just don't care. He does have a few cool things which he can do, but again, most of the time you're not gonna be seeing those, so probably like the same as Link. Met Knight's another one who I don't get to watch a lot, but uh, most of it is just failed ladder attempts, I guess, and dashing back and forth, grabbing, dash attacking. He's very cut of the mill, very much a 5-5 character, but I don't mind fighting him as much as I would those typical characters these. Yeah, I'd say Greninja level, but slightly more exciting. Mewtwo, uh, yeah, whatever. Shadow Ball is most of the game plan. His other combos are fairly cool, but not enough for me to care again. I definitely like watching him more than fighting him, so probably around here. Right, now we got the Miis. Again, not characters you're going to see a lot, but I'd say Brawler's definitely the most interesting one and the most based one. He can kill you ridiculously early, he has that Zero Suit down B, but other than that, I don't mind. Yeah, probably around here. Sword Fighter can fuck off, one of the most boring characters ever. And I don't like fighting him. This is not even like a swordy reason, he's just a better Zona than the fucking Zona one. Yeah, that's going down here. That's that's some shit cringe. I'm um, Gunner as well. Fuck that. Slightly more exciting to watch for some reason, but more cringe. This guy can fuck off. Or girl. Whatever you're playing as. Oh, like we're getting on to all the characters. Look at all the rest of these. 